Welcome to Walker Investigates. Ah! Oh, there's my house. Ah! So is the pollution a crisis in Thailand? Or just overblown hype? Probably just overblown hype. But anyway, let's discuss it. Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at PM 2.5. What exactly is it? What's causing the growing pollution? What can you do to protect yourself and the ones that you love or tell the ones that you hate where to go? And more concerningly, does anyone even care? Over to you, generic B-roll. Thailand, oh Thailand, you beautiful bugger. A country that thrives with boundless energy, vibrant cities, towering skyscrapers, the odd super annoying travel vlogger and rich cultural traditions. It's truly a country that makes me feel both welcome and alive. But beneath this dynamic nation lies an ongoing and nearly invisible crisis in the air that we breathe. In January 2025, over 70 areas across Bangkok reported dangerously high levels of PM 2.5, exceeding both national and international safety standards. Particulate matter 2.5 refers to airborne particles with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers, roughly about 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. Like that. It's like really, really small. Of course, as we all know, their primary components include sulfates, nitrates, ammonium, elemental carbon, organic compounds, and even trace metals. Chat GPT, not too shabby. So what's causing all this? Well, major sources of pollution in Thailand city, especially Bangkok, include vehicle emissions. Bangkok's traffic is notorious with the high number of cars, trucks, buses, and motorcycles emitting nitrogen oxide as a byproduct of fuel combustion. The well-documented burning of biomass and waste in rural areas, farmers often burn agricultural waste like sugarcane or rice field remnants. And these pollutants can travel across regions affecting urban air quality due to wind patterns. It doesn't help that Thailand's hot and humid climate can trap pollutants in the atmosphere, especially in urban cities like Chiang Mai and Bangkok, with the latter city's flat landscape, meaning polluted air tends to linger. And of course, travel vloggers, because when they talk, they release a lot of shit into the air. Have I ever done the vlogger jokes? No, no I haven't. So I bought one of these. This is a PM 2.5 detector that I got from Lazada for about 40 quid. I wanted to see the hotspots inside my condo and then I went outside. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, I painted my nails and honestly, I can't think of a bloody good reason to explain it. So let's all take a moment to have a good old laugh at a ginger with a broken leg and let's move on, shall we? According to my IQ Air app, which I'll explain a bit more later, outside Tong Law in Bangkok this morning was about 150 p.m. And as I have two little adopted street cats in my home who absolutely love going onto the balcony, I only got this device so I knew when it was safe for their little lungs. In a crap attempt to connect to a younger audience, 0 to 50 is considered Feral Williams' level of happy. 50 to 100, My Chemical Romance, I'm Not Okay. 100 to 150 is bad for sensitive groups with pre-existing conditions. Unhealthy, Shania Twain, I had to look that up. 150 to 300, frankly anything by Megadeth works, you get the point. And 300 plus, you'd be in Bangladesh and you'd have other problems to worry about. You couldn't really see it, but I was setting up a heavily researched air purifier there, which, wow, I was really happy with the results for the price. And it's slightly smaller one from the same brand for the bedroom. As I walked around my condo, followed by this fluffy idiot, hello noodle, I checked out all my aircon units to see if any of the filters needed changing. Having cooked the wife some breakfast, I then put this on the floor near the front door, where my cats like to go and sit and hatch their escape plans. I was shocked by how bad it got. Then following these revelations, I took a big gulp of man-up juice and headed outside. The streets were, ah, just about as I expected at 8 a.m. I'd gone inside a large building near my gym, checked out 7-Eleven, nice work guys, before heading to Fat Bros where I normally get my chicken after the gym. Frankly, I don't know if the food gets infected by the air quality, as I'd ran out of chat GTP searches until tomorrow anyway, but I was more concerned about the super lovely staff who worked there. At least they were wearing masks. Finally, it wouldn't be a dangerous, incredible walker video if I didn't at least stand with a bad leg in the burning morning sun in the middle of traffic it's hard to see, but those numbers, they weren't great. This is probably the greatest purchase I've got on Lazada since I ordered this giant pillow. <laughs> uh, it's good to see that both colors were the same size. Now, I highly recommend that you get your aircon filters cleaned every six months, and I'll stick links to both purifiers that I have and this PM detector in the description below. Don't worry, I'm not affiliated with it. I won't make any money. I'm just happy to help you. Plus, I'm not a dick. 
<laughs> I like that pillow. Now, before any of you start to panic and donning out Breaking Bad level hazard suits, let's take a moment to ground ourselves. I got a hold of this vape for um, um, scientific reasons and check this out. Anyway, so I'm inviting you, potential Walker subscriber, to share your thoughts down below. Has this impacted your life? Do you suffer from any related health problems? Do you actually like my nails? According to the World Health Organization, air pollution causes 7 million deaths annually. 3.2 million of those are linked from household air pollutions. Daily, 9 out of 10 people globally breathe polluted air, and it's the low and middle income countries that experience the highest levels of exposure. Both short and long-term exposure are strongly associated with a range of serious health issues, from simple symptoms like coughing all the way up to premature death. However, the long-term effects are even more alarming, particularly for vulnerable groups such as children, the elderly, pets, and anybody that dances on TikTok. In Thailand, the air pollution tends to worsen during the dry season, which is between November and March, largely due to the seasonal agricultural burning we've already previously mentioned. On one hand, burning fields is seen as a traditional and practical method for farmers in Thailand. Ah. It's a quick, cost-effective way to clear land, making it ready for the next crop cycle. In many rural areas, modern, sustainable farming techniques and equipment are just not readily available, making this practice a necessary part of their agricultural process. Plus, the ash produced acts as a natural fertilizer, replenishing soil nutrients for future crops. On the other hand... Oh, okay. While effective in the short term, it creates a long-term environmental challenge. The smoke and pollutants released into the air from these burning practices contribute significantly to the region's already severe air pollution problem, affecting millions of people across multiple countries. While Thailand is certainly grappling with the consequences of these burns, it's important to recognize that this issue isn't just confined to Thailand alone. Satellite data has found a significant number of fire hotspots located in Myanmar, followed by Laos. Even fires have been detected in Cambodia and Vietnam. So while Thailand plays a major role in this crisis, the pollution problem is a regional one, exacerbated by cross-border contribution. This is a clear example of why regional cooperation and joint solutions are crucial in tackling this crisis on a larger scale. Is anything being done to prevent this crisis? Yes. Uh, yes. The Thai government has recognized the severity of the situation and has been taking steps to address the growing threat. One of the key strategies has been the implementation of air quality monitoring systems and emergency action plans in areas most affected. Smog control measures introduced by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment have included temporary vehicle restrictions, school closures, and the suspension of agriculture burning. It's currently 180 outside, so I'm not sure if it's worked yet, but give it some time. So what can you do to protect yourself? Now, last week when I hurt my knee playing football, there's normally about eight teams that turn up on the pitches that we play in. Only us and our opponents actually turned up. We laughed and joked and thought how pathetic that was and then proceeded to spend 90 minutes running around taking in large gulps of polluted air. When I speak to friends or read comments online, there does seem to be a bit of an alarming difference in opinion, ranging from ah to uh. But for those of you that are concerned, here are some things that I recommend you looking into. This free app is part of my morning routine. I just check it as soon as I get up. This website is really cool if you want a little bit more detail. When selecting a mask, it's important to choose one that provides a proper seal around your face. Look for masks that say N95, KN95, or FFP2 ratings. These are designed to filter out at least 95% of the particles. When purchasing a home air purifier, prioritize one with a HEPA filter. Get a clean air delivery rate. Basically pick one that matches the size of the room that you're in. If you have the budget, get one that has a real-time air quality monitor, which allows you to track the differences when it's on and when it's off, basically. For anybody wondering, Mango did get to go outside and sorry for so much talking, but I didn't have that much choice. If you've gotten to the end of this video, then you might be someone interested in joining a live stream. I'm gonna start doing them twice a month on a Sunday. Check out the community tab for more details. No donations or anything like that, just simply a place to hang out with like-minded individuals, grab a beer or two as I piss around with some AI. Be safe, enjoy life, stay tuned, and hopefully I'll be back again soon for something completely different.